make right decisions, avoid wrong motivations and attitudes. Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 and 4. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for your own for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. As we consider the decision-making process and the framework within which we as believers should be making decisions, one important part of this decision-making process is to learn to avoid wrong motivations and wrong attitudes. If we are wrongly motivated, that is motivated for the wrong reasons, motivated uh, in an attempt to pursue wrong things, or we are doing things out of wrong attitudes, or like jealousy and strife and bitterness and revenge and, and hate and anger, we usually, or I would, we could say almost always, would end up making bad decisions, wrong decisions, disastrous decisions. The Bible teaches us that we should not do anything out of selfish ambition or out of pride. It says, don't do, don't do things out of motivated, out of just selfish interests. Things that will, are only satisfy your own personal agendas, your own gain, don't do that. And don't do it out of pride, out of boastful uh, attitude, out of a wrong motivation, don't do those things. But rather in, your, in what you do, just think about others. Think about the well-being of others as well. And then let that guide you as you make decisions. So, check up on your own heart attitude as you are making decisions. Why am I going to do what I'm going to do? Ask yourself that question. Am I motivated by an, a, a wrong attitude? Am I motivated by a selfish agenda? Am I motivated by something that will promote myself? Am I motivated by pride and a show of my own position, power and uh, prestige? Or am I motivated with the genuine concern of other people? Am I motivated for the well-being of uh, the people that I'm responsible for? Am I motivated by uh, interests of others? If, I, if we are motivated by the right things, then we can be sure that the decisions we are arriving at and the way we are processing information will also be right and we will be able to arrive at the correct decision. If we have wrong motivations, our ability to reason and what we see is clouded, is blurred by the wrong attitude, by the wrong motivation, and we often arrive at bad decisions. So check up on your heart as you make decisions. Make sure you're not motivated by wrong things and wrong attitudes. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will search our hearts and help us to keep our hearts pure. Even as we make decisions, may our hearts, our attitudes, our motivations be aligned to your heart, to your will, and to your purpose. Take out, O oh God, anything that is wrong in our attitudes and our motivations, things that would blur our ability to think, see, and reason, so that God will arrive at right decisions that glorify you and bless people. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.